Today it's all about putting that work in and starting to train. What up? It's the champ with Striders Angels Esports and welcome to episode 5 of how to improve your aim. And this is the first video I've made since uh, since I released the first four episodes. And I'm super excited with how the course has been received so far. And I think this episode right here is going to really help a lot of people with improving their aim. Today we're going to take a look at uh, another free aim trainer called Aiming.Pro. Um, and we're going to start our first daily training routine. I'm going to spend a few minutes going over the aim trainer and uh, if you've already used it and you want to skip ahead or you just don't want to listen to me talk for a few minutes, uh, I'll put a timestamp below and you can hop straight in and figure out how to get started and uh, hit up the routine yourself. So as I said earlier, we're going to be checking out aiming.pro and uh, the links in the description and this is a great free product and I think right now this is probably the best free tr aim trainer available. Uh, it has really good analytics tools and uh, it's very well organized and laid out and uh, you can tell there was a lot of care and study put into the product and uh, my, my only real issue with this aim trainer is I think more advanced players will outgrow it relatively quickly as uh, a lot of the exercises that they include in the uh, in the training course, I don't really think are challenging enough. That out of the way, let's head to the website and get set up. I would make an account to track your progress, but uh, you can trade it as a guest if you want. And the first thing you wanna do as always is convert your sensitivity and configure your crosshair. Uh, Aiming Pro has a pretty in-depth sensitivity converter that covers most competitive games that have released in the last few years. So I'm assuming mostly everyone's game should be on there. Um, you also have a lot of crosshair options and colors that you can go with. So just choose what you prefer. I chose green because the targets are red. So you can follow that if you like. Now let's head back to the main page and you'll see a, a blue bar that says test your skill. Uh, the green bars above it won't appear on your screen if you haven't trained before. So uh, let's just click on the test your skill tab and uh, there's going to be four tests. Target frenzy, flick, reaction time, and tracking. And these are designed to hit on the, the core skills involved in aim and mouse movement. And I would recommend doing each two or three times so you can get kind of an accurate snapshot of how you did because it's going to compare you to the rest of the aiming pro community. Now, when you finish one of these exercises, you're going to be brought to a, a pretty in-depth analysis of your performance. And uh, what's really great and one of my favorite parts of aiming pro is it takes all the data from your training session and compares you to all the other players uh, so that can, you can see which areas you struggle in the most. It even recommends down at the bottom what drill you should do next based on analysis of your mouse movements. And uh, if you take the, the time to, to look at your stats and your analysis, you can really kind of pin in on, on what skills you're struggling in on if you're struggling with accuracy, if you're struggling with speed, and uh, you can really target your training. Now, when you finish all your skill assessment tasks, head back to the dashboard and uh, look, your bars will now be a color based on how you performed compared to all the other Aiming Pro users. And uh, this is a great snapshot of how your mouse movement stacks up against your peers. Um, and if your bar is red, it's not a big deal because that's why we're going to start training. There's another tab I just want to show you before we get into our, our training routine, and that's the skill builder. And there's a, a bunch of tabs and sub tabs here that focus on all aspects of aim training. And uh, there's various difficulties of almost every one. And while I don't consider every drill in here to be effective in a routine, I think uh, every player who's starting on this aim trainer should complete every single drill on here once so that the aiming pro analytics can kind of isolate your strengths and weaknesses and you can also kind of self-assess what drills you struggled with so that when you're training on your own and not following my guide you can kind of pick uh, pick out what you're going to work on all right so now we're going to get to our our training routine and i'm sure i'm going to wind up saying this every every training video i make but uh, i'm trying to keep the training to 30 minutes five times a week so uh there's always going to be five or six exercises and we're going to do each exercise five times so we're going to start back at our dashboard and go to our skill assessment tab and we're going to do three of these exercises five times each uh, we're going to do the tile frenzy. I actually prefer this to uh, to Kovacs, which is my main aim trainer, because uh, the tile frenzy in aiming pro, uh, the targets vary in size and distance, so you can focus on your precision, and this will help your click accuracy, your flicks, and your ability to process information and make quick decisions. 
We're going to move right over to the next drill, which is our flip trainer, which is going to be very similar again to what we were working on in our last video on the steel series, uh, aim trainer, where we're just working on our flicks and our accuracy. All right. So the last drill we're going to do from the skill assessment page is the tracking drill where you know, we're working on what, in my opinion, might be the most important part of your mouse movement. And it's, uh, what a lot of people struggle with initially, which is your tracking, where you're keeping your cursor over a moving target for an extended extended period of time. I got it. Um, and I do think this drill is a little too easy as you get advanced, but uh, it's a good place to start. So we're going to add that to our routine and we're going to do that five times also. So now we're going to head into the skill builder tab and uh, there's a lot of nice drills in there that are kind of hidden away and I, I feel like a lot of the aiming pro community doesn't even know they exist or use them but we're going to use them in our routine because some of them are really really good. So go to the accuracy tab and then the uh, moving subcategory there's an image of a little bunny and uh, there's only one drill currently there and that's moving targets level one. This is a really good drill to practice your click timing uh, since we all know that in, in game is very rare our opponent's going to stand still so we don't want to practice only shooting still targets. Next, we're going to click on the speed category and we're going to perform multi targets level two. And this is great for target switching, um, click accuracy and ability to process information. And lastly, we're going to go into the tracking category and perform vertical tracking medium. And not many games utilize a large amount of vertical tracking. However, since this guide is geared towards beginners, I think we should work on improving all aspects of our mouse movement. So there we go, six exercises, five times each, and our first training routine is complete. And I would recommend beginners sticking to this routine for a month. And I'm really curious to hear what improvements you guys have made after training or doing this routine for an extended period of time. So that brings us to the end of episode five of how to improve your aim. And I really hope this was helpful. So please subscribe to the channel so you can come back for future episodes. I update this, this uh, course every two weeks and you're more than welcome to come check me out live on Twitch. I stream almost every day. Champ out.